In this video, I'm going to show you how Kivi events work, which will allow you to call functions when certain events happen. For example, when a button is pressed, we'll want to call a function. Now let's get right into it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to code, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell down below so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Now today we'll be learning about Kivi events. This will allow us to call functions when these events happen, such as when a button is pressed, we'll want something to happen. So with events we can do this. So I'm just in a new Python file. Now this does look a little bit different to how we were doing it before. Of course we have our my app class, but we also have this my layout class. And this inherits from box layout. If you don't know what that is, you can click on a card somewhere up here. That video will explain to you what inheritance is. Now the reason why we have a separate layout class is so that we can sort of build up our own class with all the widgets inside of it in its own class. So just explaining this briefly, we have a class that inherits from box layout, then in the init method we are calling the box layout init method, which is what this super method is, it calls the init function of the box layout. Then after that we are creating a button, which will just say press me, after that we're adding the button to self. And you need to remember that self is the actual layout, so we're adding the button to the layout. Then in the myapp class, in the build method, we are just going to return an instance of my layout. So let's just run this now. We can see we just get a button taking up the entire screen. It says press me. It doesn't do anything when we press it though. And we can make something happen when we press it by using events. To use events, we'll need to bind an event to a widget. So we can do this using the bind method. So just under here we can do self.button.bind and then we can do on press equals and then here we would have a function. So what this does is it binds the on press event. This right here is the event. The on press is the event. We're binding a function to the button. Now let's just make a quick function that will add another widget. So what this new method does is it creates a new label and adds it to the widgets. So we're creating the label here and we're adding the widget to the layout with self. Also we have two parameters here. We have self which is the layout and we also have button which is a button that calls the method. And by the way if you are finding this video useful a like would be appreciated. Now we need to add the method to the event. Up here we can just write new label. Make sure you don't add parentheses on the end of new label right here because we don't want to call it immediately. We want to call it when it's pressed. So all we're doing is we're passing the function and we aren't calling it. And also up here, new label, it needs to have self.label. That was a mistake on my part. Oh yeah, and here it needs to be text equals my new label. Now when we run it, we can see we get press me and we'll press it. We can see we get a new label that says my new label and we can keep on pressing it and it'll just add new labels. Now let's say we don't want to have the button there when we've pressed it. To do this we can just do self.remove widget. We're referring to the layout and we're removing the widget from the layout and we're going to remove button. Here we don't need to have the self because what we're doing here is we're referring to the argument that we have passed here. We're not actually referring to the attribute that we've defined up here. So if we run it now. You can see we get a button, press me, when we press it, a new label appears, and the button is removed. Now if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, I always reply to you guys. If you would like to see how to use a filter function, then you can click on this video here. Otherwise, that's it from me, cheers, and goodbye.